Across Africa, vultures are disappearing at an alarming rate. Statistics indicate that Africa has lost up to 97% of its vulture population due to poisoning, belief-based use, electrocution, collision with power infrastructure and habitat degradation among other reasons. The International Vulture Awareness Day marked in September every year provides a chance to highlight the critical role played by vultures in the ecosystem, threat facing them and conservation efforts to save these magnificent birds. BirdLife International, the world's largest nature partnership, is collaborating with its network of partners across the continent to address the African vulture crisis through various interventions. Hello, I am Dr. Paul Matiku, Executive Director of Nature Kenya, BirdLife International Partner in Kenya. The International Vulture Awareness Day gives a chance to appreciate the important role that vultures play in our environment. Vultures in Kenya and indeed the whole East Africa region are threatened by poisoning occasioned by human wildlife conflict and electrocution by power infrastructure. Nature Kenya is undertaking a number of interventions on the ground to address these threats, including rapid response to poisoning instances and anti-poisoning trainings in collaboration with local communities. As we celebrate International Vulture Awareness Day and look forward to launch the BioLife Africa Vulture Conservation Forum, let's all join forces to tackle threats to vultures in Africa. Hi, my name is Julia Pirini. I'm the CEO of BirdLife Zimbabwe. Vulture conservation is a key pillar for BirdLife Zimbabwe work. The International um, Vulture Awareness Day serves to remind us of the plight of these magnificent birds and of the need to redouble our efforts to bring them back from the verge of extinction. Working with local communities and authorities, BirdLife Zimbabwe is developing vulture safe zones and carrying out um, awareness campaigns of the need for vulture conservation. The uh, launch of the BirdLife Africa Vulture Conservation Forum is timely and it will be instrumental in fostering collaboration for vulture conservation in Africa. My name is Dr. Mutari Aminu Kano. I'm the Director General of the Nigerian Conservation Foundation, which is the BirdLife Partner in Nigeria. In recent decades, we have been seriously concerned about the dramatic decline in vulture populations, not just in Nigeria, but in the whole of West Africa. And this decline is a result of belief-based use. Vulture body parts are hunted uh, because of the spurious belief that they can cure certain ailments or they can bring good luck. In our organization, NCF, and at BirdLife, we've been seriously concerned about this decline in vulture populations. And what we are doing in Nigeria is to bring all the key stakeholders together, in particular the uh, traditional healers who are a crucial part of all of this and we are trying to work with them in order to develop plant-based alternatives as substitute for body parts of vultures. We are delighted therefore to be a part of the International Vulture Awareness Day and in particular to be part of the BirdLife Vulture Forum BirdLife Africa Vulture Forum, which will soon be launched to consolidate the conservation work that will hopefully save this seriously threatened species in Africa. Greeting everyone. I am Khadija Boras, Executive Director for Grepom BirdLife Partner in Morocco. After almost four decades, Grepom Vulture is once again breeding in Morocco thanks to successful reintroduction program carried out in coordination between the Department of Water and Forest and GREPOM. Such a 
story inspires and gives us a hope that together we can turn the tide for Africa's voters. As we celebrate International Voter Awareness Day 2021 and launch the BirdLife Africa Voter Forum, join us and help save Africa's voters.